Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a Shop My Stash. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I actually have a look that I'm feeling very inspired by today. It's a look by pinkmint underscore MUA on Instagram. I just love this eye look. I'll put it up on screen here so you can get a better look without the phone glare. But I just love the colors that are going on here. I don't know if I'm going to do the inner corner detail or the waterline detail, but I'm going to do something inspired by this look today. So before I go through my drawers and pick out a bunch of products, I'd love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. For my primer, I'm going to grab this one here from e.l.f. The Acne Fighting Putty Primer. And for my base, I kind of want to try a combination of things. My eye went straight to this stuff this morning, the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Foundation, but this stuff is so, 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 so full coverage that I want to mix it with the Glossier Skin Tint, which has like zero coverage. I just want to see what these two products do together. They might meet in the middle and create something beautiful. So I'm going to try that out. For concealer, I want to use this stuff. I'm just on such a big kick with this one. It's the All Over Concealer from Lancome. And for my powder, I'm going to grab these two. This one's easy to grab, the LYS powder and the Pat McGrath under eye powder. So for blush, I kind of want to use this one from MAC. I haven't used it in a while. The So Natural Glow Play Blush. For my highlighter, what do I feel like today? Probably something very subdued. Maybe this one from Trini London. The Right Light. I feel like that's the right decision. For bronzer, I'm kind of eyeing the Fenty Beauty bronzer. So I want to pick up this powder one and this contour shade. I want to try them both. As per usual, I have no idea what I want to do for lips. I'm going to leave this for a second. But for the eyeshadows, I want to grab something that has some cool tones. I'm going to pick up my Biba palette because it's been a hot minute since I've used this on my channel. And I know there's some nice cool tones in this Quintessence palette from Sydney Grace and Temptalia. And ooh, 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 I want some green. And I haven't used this eyeshadow palette yet from ColourPop. And now down here, I want an eyeliner. I'm gonna grab my Melt Onyx eyeliner pot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I got a grip of it. <laughs> This one. And finally for mascara, I don't know which one I want to use. I'm just going to grab this one for my lower lashes. And which one have I not used for a while? Maybe this one, the e.l.f. Big Mood. I haven't used this one in a sec. Starting off with primer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer. I've been using this a lot again recently. It's just such a nice primer. I feel like it softens your base out and it just feels really nice and hydrating. I don't know, it's a really cool primer. I enjoy it a lot. So I'm gonna take a bit of that and kind of melt it in between my fingertips. I'm just gonna slather it everywhere. My lips already drank up all of the lip balm I had on, so I'm just gonna put on some more. And I got this really cute kit from Summer Fridays. It's one of their holiday kits, and you can get it from Sephora, and it comes with three cute lip balms. These two are tinted, but this one is see-through. I don't know, I think it's a, it's a good little kit. Feels like a really nice hydrating lip balm. I've never tried the Summer Fridays one yet, so I don't know if it really works for me or what. I just think that this kit is just so freaking cute. Now let's move on to the base. I'm really excited to see what happens when I mix these two products together. But I did remember that this is a deeper shade for me right now. So I'm actually going to use my Vision Cream Cover Perfecting and Shaping Wand. This is actually like a concealer, but it's the exact same formula, just in different packaging. And this is a lighter shade, so it's going to match my skin tone right now. So I'm just going to pump a little bit out and like smoosh it on the back of my hand. That should be a lot. It's just like a little tiny amount of this will cover your entire face. I feel like that's a little too much to be honest, but uh, we'll see. So now I'm going to mix in some of the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in the shade G9. I'm just gonna add like a lot of this, like that. And I'm just going to mix it in with my finger. I feel like that looks a little deep. We'll see. And I'm going to blend this out with my Makeup Forever Wavy Brush. It says 116. It's this really nice tinted moisturizer brush. My motor skills are off today. What's happening? 
This is looking really, really nice together. Wow. You guys, look at my skin. These two are a dream team. I <laughs> love how my complexion looks today, especially for a more full coverage look. It still looks skin-like. Like, it doesn't look thick on my skin at all. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a full coverage concealer. I mean, foundation at all. It's very, very flattering, and it was easy to apply, and I love the subtle glow running through it. It just looks so healthy. Wow, I just found an amazing combination. I feel like I'm going to do this one a lot. So now for concealer, I chose the Lancome All Over Concealer. And the bottom only says Bisque W. I know that um, multiple shades are called that. Maybe this is the number? Perhaps, let me double check that real quick. Yes, this number back here is the corresponding shade that I have, 250 Bisque Warm. So I'm just gonna apply some to the inner and outer corner. And I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Ooh, I think this is going to be such a good match for the foundation I have on today. This honestly looks good with any foundation, but I think it's going to look especially nice. I've been using a lot of skin tints lately, so it's really nice to see my skin in like a foundation foundation. It looks so nice and smooth and perfected. I like it. And I'm going to put a little bit of my Pat McGrath under eye powder underneath to set that. While I'm here, I'm just going to set the center of my face with the LYS setting powder. I use the shade Resilience, which is the translucent one. Now for bronzer, I'm first going to apply the cream one from Fenty Beauty in the shade Amber. And I'm going to use this brush right here. This is the BMX Sculpt Brush from Moda Pro. It's like a little contour brush. I've been trying this out recently and I like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna take it in the hollow of my cheek. I'm not gonna bring it to the center of my face at all. And I'm also gonna take some a little bit on my jaw since it's a cool tone shade. Just gonna take my beauty blender and make sure that's blended because I fear having a harsh helmet line under here with contour. And I'm just gonna dab this out. I feel like I might've put too much. It's looking a little too gray on me. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender with the side that I went over my foundation with so it should have a subtle amount on there and I should take it down nicely. Now I'm taking my powder bronzer from Fenty in the shade Indie Sun, and I haven't used this in a really long time. Forgot about it a little bit. So I'm gonna take that with my Moda blending fan brush. I forgot how cool toned this bronzer pulls on me. So I didn't even really need to go in with the, the cream version, but whoopsies, whatever. Okay, okay, this face is looking really, 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 really nice. I really love what I'm seeing, especially on camera. It looks phenomenal on there. Interesting. So now for highlighter. Oh, I did forget that it was a cream that I picked. I'm going to be using the Trini London highlighter in the shade Candlelight. I'm just gonna take some with my finger to begin with. Oh, it's just so pretty. I did set my nose with powder and it doesn't seem to be getting disrupted. It still looks really, really nice. It's such an interesting highlighter because it just melts right into your base. I was a bit worried that it was going to be too emollient on this foundation, but it didn't disrupt it at all. Wow, okay, I picked some gooders today. So now, oh no! I think I tried to squeeze this in too tightly with my blush collection. I popped the little lid off, the little window. Oh, thank God. Okay, thank God, I fixed it. I was a bit worried because this formula is kind of like a cloud formula. It's like a powder cream hybrid. Again, I'm using the Glow Play Blush from MAC in the shade So Natural. I feel like this will look really good with the cool tones and the green I'm going to be going in with. And it's also a similar blush shade that that woman was wearing. God, that's such a cute blush. I haven't used this in probably a year or so. And like, why? Why haven't I? 
fun. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly do my brows off camera. So please enjoy the brow intermission. I just tested it out on this side to make sure that I liked it and I really, really love how it turned out. I've been having some bad luck with eye looks recently. There's a few videos that I filmed that you'll never see the light of that will never make it onto my channel. So I just wanted to make sure I liked how it looked. So I'm first going to dip into the Biba palette and I'm going to take the shade Freckle, the shade right here, and I'm going to use that in the crease, kind of higher up. This is just going to warm up this look and kind of match the blush. I did prime my eyelids with the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer, by the way. Okay, now I'm going to switch my brush. I'm going to grab this one from ColourPop. It's the E20. It's like a little oval detailing brush. And I'm going to take the shade Tor from this palette, which is one of the cream powder formulas. And I'm bringing that on the inner corner as well as the outer corner. Now I'm going to grab this shade from the Sydney Grace palette, this shade right here, which is called Reaching Zenith. And I'm going to place that on top of what we just put down. And then I'm going to jump back with the Biba palette and I'm going to take the Sculpture shade and I'm placing this on top which kind of doesn't make sense, but this is just going to soften everything out. I'm trying to focus it more towards the inner portion right here. But I like that depth from within. Now I'm grabbing my little ColourPop green palette and I'm going to be using this shade right here called don't care. It's this shade right here, but I'm going to take it on this brush right here, which is the Smith 247, and I'm actually going to dip in this shade first, then I'm taking a little bit of this light shade here just to dull it out and mute it out a little bit because it was way too green to match this minty vibe, and then I'm going to press it in the center here. And I'm first dabbing it in the center because that's where I want it to be the most green. And then I'm going to take a little pencil brush. I'm going to take that same combo we just did, that creamy shade and the green. And then I'm going to lightly pat at the edges, kind of overlapping it. And I'm also going to blend some into the crease because I just want a soft edge. I don't want it to look harsh at all. Wiping that brush off, taking Sculpture again, and I'm going to pat over top of the edges and this is just gonna make a perfect little ombre and then I'm going to take a small detail brush this one's from Huda Beauty it's the rose quartz one the eye smudge brush it's another oval one I'm taking that freckle shade the first shade we put into the crease and I'm bringing that all across the lower lash line and wiping that off I'm taking Tusk again, which is that creamy color that I dulled that green out with, and I'm going to go over top of that to kind of soften it. I forgot that I mixed the two on this side. It looks like she's not wearing anything on the lower lash line, but since I'm not doing that waterline detail, I think this is going to help bring everything together. But now I'm done with the eyeshadow for a moment. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use as my inner corner highlight, actually. Ooh, I'm going to use this shade from... The Sydney Grace palette, the Milky Way. It has like a little green reflect. I think that'll be fun. Ooh, yeah, that's really fun. I like that. That's perfect. Adds extra fun to this look. So now I'm going to create a little eyeliner. I'm first going to create the bulk of it with the Melt Onyx Ultra Matte Gel Liner, but I did end up picking out a liquid eyeliner to make it really sharp and to get a really thin line in the inner corner. I'm gonna take it from my outermost corner and kind of go a little bit up, but mostly straight out from there because I wanted it to be extended. And this brush is a Smith 203.
Now I'm taking my liquid liner. It's the NARS Climax Liquid Eyeliner. This is interesting. I just discovered this when I was using it, but there's like a thick side and a thin side, which is interesting. It makes it stand out a little bit, but I'm going to take it on its thin side to try to create a little line. And I always try to lift my eyebrows as high as I can to kind of smooth out my eyelid skin. Ew, I hate I hate what I just said. Eyelid skin, gross. And here's the eyeshadow all finished. I'm just going to quickly do my mascara off camera real quick and I'll be right back. And here are the eyes all finished. I love this eye look. Turned out so pretty and so fun. I'm very, very into it. But now let's move on to the lips. So I wanted to do something similar to her lip combo she's wearing. So I tried to pick up shades that would match the blush and the crease color really nicely. So I'm first going to line my lips with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Natural. And for my lipstick, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Catwalking. And I'm just gonna dab some on. I know her lipsticks can be very, very pigmented. This is a perfect shade match for that lip liner. And then lastly, I'm just gonna take some more of my lip balm I was using at the beginning, just to add some glow. My lips are very dry. I'm just gonna wipe the tip off. Oh, it's squishy. This is a squishy tip, nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my headband on because I was wearing my hair in a ponytail the whole time. So my hair's just gonna be a whole kinky mess. I'm just not in the mood to deal with my hair. But here is the finished final look. I haven't loved a makeup look this much in a long time. I love every single aspect of this look. The base is beautiful and flawless and so soft looking. And I love how it has a subtle glow that's not too much. It just looks so healthy and radiant. I love my brows today. They look really nice and fluffy and natural, which adds a nice balance to the more sculpted base and eye look. And I, of course, love this eye look. I love the subtle pop of color. I think it's pretty wearable with all of the other colors. I love how the warm and the crease really contrasts with the cool tones I used and the lip combo just perfectly suits everything. Uh, it pulled together beautifully and I hope you enjoy it too. But that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it fun or helpful. If you did, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in the description down below as always, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.